Hi there, viewers and gamers alike out there, and welcome back for another episode of WWE 2K22 My Rise Storyline. This is Karai Story, and this is Alliance Teen, a part of Paper Mario Z Rebirth. So we're going to continue our story in progress here. <laughs> so, yeah. The locations. NXT General Manager's Office. Why not? <laughs> Let's go there. I'd be glad. So, yeah, mostly the RWO is uh, really interested to see of what to see. <clears throat> yeah, surprising that Isaac is kind of, I don't know, how do I say, most likely completely flustered when being called Pookie Bear by... Asami Yamamoto. <laughs> so, the story progress. Not that kind of fan. Shake it, shake, shake it up. Well, what's on social media? Hmm, not much. But, let's talk to William Regal. I was wondering, do you know anybody who would be interested in challenging Rhea Ripley for the NXT Women's Championship? Do we have to go through this every time we talk? Yes. Being a GM can be tedious at times. You must allow me my few available joys. Right. Okay. Gee, Mr. Regal, I'd sure love a chance to face Rhea Ripley. I won't even mind if you're about to tell me that it isn't as simple as that, and whoever faces Rhea will actually have to jump through a number of hoops to earn the title shot. <laughs> she answered that sarcastically, but I love it. I thought you'd say that. Well, it's not going to be that easy, because... Wait, what did you just say? What? Nothing. Just tell me what I need to do. Now you've taken all the fun out of it. <laughs> Come on, let's try again. I assume there's just a sign-up sheet or something? Of course there's not a sign-up sheet. We can't just hand out title chances willy-nilly. They must be earned. This is a company-wide opportunity. We're going to set up a number of fatal four-ways in what I'm calling the Road to Rhea. The winners of those matches will face each other in a final elimination four-way to determine who will take on Rhea Ripley for a championship. The question is, are you interested in getting on the road? Oh, I think she's interested. So this is her opportunity to go into a title shot. But the only way to get to the title shot is to go into the four-way elimination match where there are no countouts and no disqualifications. And it seems that Karai would be really interested. And I don't think she's not going to slip this pass by. Getting on the road. I like that. Thanks. So, are you interested or not? She's in. Uh, there's no way she will not let this go by. I'm in. I can't turn down a shot at a title, no matter how long the road is. I like the turn of phrase remarkably less coming from you. The road to Rhea. So once again, max upgrade points, 40 maximum fan rewards, some rewards, modern jeans, male and female, plus the WrestleMania my rise stage yes and also that hints to a clue because one person does not act actually th actually thinks his war is over been the battle but the battle is not over may have won the war but not the battle itself So yeah, this is a way how Karai put herself on the map, winning her first title shot, and that is the NXT Women's Championship. And However, but before she was going to do that, she has to get by through four opponents in a four-way elimination match where there are no countouts and no disqualifications. If you pin or submit your opponent, or make your opponent submit, 
They're eliminated, heading back to the locker room. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making her way to the ring from Japan, the super athlete, beautiful Kiyuni Pai Bay. Everyone knows of her great athleticism, but she turned heads at the Performance Center, including impressing Shawn Michaels and Beth Phoenix. She's got transferable skills that are game changers in the ring. She wants to take that athleticism and go on a tear. By the way, that's actually Karai's real she hair, even whether she's transformed she into the Sailor Scout or not. Her make an Brother transformation, transformation is what goes into the blue hair. I would likely say is to most likely how to throw your pride away somehow. Or well, more or less, there are things that when it comes to different hair, 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 different hair colors. Sorry. She added some attitude. Her I say this well. is where I start Tony my. This is where I make my a name for myself Australia. and climbing to the Tony. top of Four. NXT the world to have a shot at the NXT Women's Title. Tony Storm started training at the age of 13, one of the youngest competitors, but also one of the savviest veterans at this stage. Uh, certainly a dedicated superstar who now has a new focus. Tony's got lots of potential and she's getting better every day. Well, here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard. A competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell. A true Tegan inspirational Knox. superstar. And from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Well, Tegan was betrayed by her former best friend, Dakota Kai, in the first ever women's war games match. All that says to me is that Tegan Knox simply isn't a very good best friend. She's Saxton? actually a very good. Actually, Tegan Saxton Knox is a very good best friend Saxton? in real life, to be honest. Of course, well, Dakota Kai. Every time not really Tegan though. Knox competes. The RWO would the be Wild absolutely guys. in shock and awe. Like, how is she able to win the NXT Women's Championship? But if she. She has to go through the other three people, such and as Tony Dallas, Storm, Texas. Ember Moon, and Ember. Tegan Knox. Ember Moon now goes by the name of Athena, who is now resides in all elite wrestling. So don't forget that. For now, winning the women's tag team titles. Ember Moon always game, always ready, always focused. Just because you're in like the developmental brand such as NXT, doesn't mean it'll be all easy peasy lemon squeezy. No, no, no. It's like like SmackDown and Raw. And it, when the going gets tough, the top NXT. gets going. It's like a new experience, a new journey towards so the next me, experience Ember's of training when it comes to this. Tonight. And here we go, we eliminate all other competitors. Raquel Gonzalez, Tegan Knox, and Ember Moon are all big names in NXT, but the fourth superstar in this group can make a name for herself with a big ring. There's that diamond cutter twist of fate. Who has the most to gain in this match? In a fatal four-way match is where you need to stand tall. Ooh! Quite an effective counter. Really just laying it in. 
again with a diamond cutter twist of fate. Uh, why did I say twist of fate? It's simple. Um, for those who understand this, it's um, it's like grabbing your opponent on the neck and do like the similar to that of an RKO Randy Orton's signature move, if you want to know, which is like to that similar to that of Diamond Dollars Page's diamond cutter. Here's the combo of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped wow, up. Wow, not even close to one. Out. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. And there is your toss-up uh, 360 degree, which is, you know, 360 degree toss-up. X-Plex, oh also known as what it's called. I mean, seriously, I mean, what would anybody would not know about in scientific sport, in terms of sports science? Remember, yep, this is an elimination match, so you can try to eliminate your opponent here because there are no count-outs and no disqualifications. Stunned and yeah, like I said, there are no count outs or no disqualifications, and you can do whatever you want. And this was just so close to being over. Almost unbelievable that she kicked out at all. A little buffer when it comes to, I mean, you can do a quick recovery, like an early recovery, but you'll have like a, a, um, a minus of the buffer when it comes to that. But if you want to not do the quick recovery, just wait a little longer, and then all of a sudden you might get an additional buff. But who knows, like, depends on what, or what would you do with your customized character. The pump handle rolling Death Valley driver. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Taking flight. Ever there are no count outs and no disqualifications in a fatal four way match, and you can do whatever you want. Wow. Looking for that spike DDT. Wow. Severely impaired. DDT spike. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees. Diving cutter RKO. There you have it. Russian leg sweep and the mounted palm strikes. Tegan Knox setting up for the shiniest wizard, and there it is. Uh, why did I call it the shiniest wizard? Similar to that of a drop kick or a claymore from that of Drew McIntyre, which is so powerful, and it like it's kind of like lights out. I don't think she even knows where she is at this point. Neck breaker and butterfly suplex.
still anyone's a guess. I mean, oh, look at that torch of facing in a fatal, uh, fat, uh, so this is Karai's first fatal four-way match. That's not some, That's not a battle royal, if you want to know. For good measure. Multiple stops. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. And now she's got that kendo stick. And now she's going to grab the steel steps. Wow. I'm, I'm not sure that, that was smart for TJ Knox. Into the ring again. Turns back. Storm's attack. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> and there's that Storm Zero. And Ember Moon's gone, and it's now a triple threat. Oh, like, go for it. I don't mind. Can you believe it? Can you believe? Storm No! Diving cutter! Storm is down. Storm may be out. And there is your X Plex. And here comes the inverted figure four leg lock. Oh, this is going to hurt the legs. Taps out on the inverted figure four. Only two remain. Wow. Oh, what a kick. Not done yet. Going to take a trip. There's that arm pull suplex. Wow, almost like the grab me gotcha, but not the grab me gotcha. And there is that. It's the deadlift Yokosuka cutter. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. And. And there is that Hurricane Rana. Just take one more hit up there for a knockout. Wow, this is what it came, uh, comes to a powerful kicks for Karai. She means business, but she knows how to be, take, get, be, how to have fun and taking care of business when it comes to this. Wow. Looking for that STF. Sit out. Matt Slam, but not quick enough. Oh, wow. The shiniest wizard. A kick out at one. Nobody home. Diving cutter. Wow, not even. Any way to pin without a finisher or a signature in any other way, which is completely ridiculous. Says no. A little momentary respite for Karai. I mean, give credit to Tegan Knox. I mean, Tegan Knox getting, giving Karai for a run for her own money. I mean, but this is just 
Wesley. She is called the shiniest wizard. Here it comes, Corey. Here we go. Kinshasa! Wow, uh, the Kinshasa once again, strong style, uh, powerful knee Here's strike. It's, winner, that's why they call the it, which is a um, strong style, the but it's the name is in Japanese. What an amazing match, especially for our winner, pulling out all the stops in this fatal four way. And this, and this is how mistress, finally Tarai becomes the number one contender for the NXT women's title against Rhea Ripley. Yeah, I mean, this storyline is actually pretty interesting in the women's division. The men's division, it's a little... I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's creepy. It's just interesting. Well, look at that, Trish Stratus. <laughs> Always been impressed with Rhea Ripley. Couldn't turn down this opportunity to come back and face her. The road to Rhea is a dead end. No one can compete with me. Ha <laughs> ha. Trish Stratus, Sailor Mo Miku, Shirai, Io, Dakota Kai. You're wrong, and I look forward to proving it. <laughs> so Sailor Miku's Io Shirai Dakota Kai and Trish Stratus only one but prevail on the next stop on the road to Rhea so here we go so I wonder if this is a fatal four way elimination or if this is a fatal four way the one who pins or submits or submit their op make their opponent submit defeat by tapping out is the one who moves on. So why not? We'll name this episode The Road to Rhea. Or oh, Rhea Ripley, Road to Rhea. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making her way to the ring, from Japan, the super athlete, beautiful Kiyuni Pie Bay. Shawn Michaels and Beth Phoenix took this athlete's natural speed, lower body strength, and balance, and customized an incredible offensive arsenal for the WWE ring. From day one at the PC, she knew the natural ability she showed on the field would serve as a crucial building block in WWE. And we can see the results of that training here tonight. Even though Karai looks pretty cute and looking pretty awesome, she is, has the heart of a warrior and knows what it means to be one. Asami was actually impressed seeing her first title match. Yes, there will be a time with Asami Yamamoto and Isaac along with two other people that Isaac met. Io Shirai. Well, here comes the evil genius of the sky. Genius being the other How goes by the name of Io Sky? Um, from Tokyo, Japan. Io Shirai. One of the most decorated competitors in Japanese women's wrestling history. And Io Shirai has continued that success in NXT and WWE. Two women that I know of from out of Japan who are in WWE right now. The ones I know of is Io, Io Shirai, who now goes by the name of Io Sky, is what you're looking at Io right Shirai, now. Question, and Asuka as well, who, who resides on Monday lucky, Night Raw. We'll see another one here tonight. The, the others, the, uh, the others is the one I know who goes by the name of Kyrie Sane. A uh, former tag team partner from with Oscar and the other out of WCW back then is uh, Nico Satomura. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. Byron, you look scared. I am scared. And from Auckland, New Zealand. So it was like the one step closer to become the number one contender for Tarai, but 
but like I said, the road to Rhea is not NXT an easy road to get to, to the end. You know, as far as I can skip this scene, I mean, I've seen it. A superstar, a Hall of and guess who? And Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus. Hall of Famer. The best, always hungry to take on the absolute top competition in WWE. Stratus faction guaranteed. I mean, Karai was kind of shocked to me as to see the meetup with the WWE Hall of Famer who goes by the name of Chris Stratus, but she would love nothing more than to go up against her. I mean, not just as a friend, but as a competitor. And I think this is somehow feeling the part of her Saiyan side makes her that much more interesting besides playing soccer. Yeah, get your kicks in. And there is that freak accident, also known as that high flying Uranagi. Or that high, that high sit out Uranagi. Similar to a rock bottom, there is that the inverted figure four. And Shirai pays for leaving an opening. Round and round we go. Head scissor with the world head scissors. She's into the ring again. Gets inside the ring. Oh, look at this. The pop-up styles collage. Wow, what a hit. She is really showing her confidence. She scores big with the counter. Great counter impressive ring IQ. First time going up against the Hall of Famer, Chris Stratus. Went from was went from was went from go, being retired to was retired. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, I did not know that. I, I'm, I'm not certain if Karai noticed about that, but that was absolutely funny. <laughs> wow, there's no. She was right on the mark, but no one home. A, a clothesline over the top rope. And there is that grabbing hold DDT, which is known as the death drop. She saw it wow. And Trish saves herself. Great job refocusing the reverse. Wow. Unbelievable. Move after move. Counter after counter. She is absolutely pretty good. And Karai is absolutely impressed. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. Blast off. And there is that slingshot spear. Wayslip, oh. yeah, Ross Howard. And there is that flying the Uranagi spine buster move. Something up with the pin technique. Wow! And I'm that unraveled on Trish. There is your sling blade. Trying to lower their opponent's health as much as she could. 
But it is not as easy as you think it is. There is the Claymore. And that diamond cutter is in effect. And here comes the inverted figure four leg lock. Wow, a tap out on the inverted figure four and she's pulling it off. Give her, I mean, she did a, she put up a fight. Trish Stratus put up a fight on that. <laughs> But I think Karai would not really forget. And here comes the Spike DDT. And here comes the shoot kicks and the scorpion kick. Uh, yeah, like she saw that coming. Like I saw, Karai says, I know your moves and you can't fool me. No. Whoops, sorry. Oh. Why did my stupid thumb slid? I swear it was not me. Miss that 630 senton. Uh, it's a 630 senton is a 630 degree uh, spin move to turn your whole body in two turns. That's why. Oh! And there is that heel hook. Yeah, I don't think that was. She avoids the contact. Escape just in time. Lights and left elbow. And here comes the STF camel clutch. Step over toe hold face lock. Trouble in trouble. Tap tap out. Wow, I couldn't see from that side of the V. <laughs> but that was. Whoa. No! She said no! Across the shoulders. BTS German right suplex. Uh, BTS means bro to sleep instead of saying go to sleep. It's a powerful knee strike, which is a, it's um the, the first version of the feast your eyes move, if you want to know. So the feast your eyes is a fireman's carrier. Then you kind of do a, a powerful knee strike which is a mount for the leg power, whether it's the left or the right leg, and that's why they call it the Feast Your Eyes, which is similar to that of a GTS. But it's a, a different, uh, a, diff a modified version. Oh my. Not today. Wow! Might be in some trouble now. Yeah, this fatal four-way has certainly taken its toll, Michael. Bang and screw! That'll tear your knee up. Oh, look at these kicks! Oh. Knee right to the face. 
Diamond Cutter. Will be enough to put EO away. And there is that super kick, but she knows it's not enough. And here comes the prison trap, also known as the inverted Texas Cloverleaf. And that is it. And that does it. Beats the odds. Wow. And the way Here is your finds the will the and the way athletes. to overcome Beautiful the toughest King competitors King such as Io Shirai. I mean, doing the diamond cutter and, and then a powerful Bruce Lee Surviving super kick move because of her. Match. Soccer abilities when it comes to kicking the ball, but she knows how to do a powerful sweet chin music Bruce Lee super kick, which is impressive. It's no easy picnic when it comes to this when uh, when it's like the road to Rhea. So yeah, the episode name, the road to Rhea. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm liking this. I'm liking this very much. <laughs> Please, no spoilers about uh, about the Super Mario Brothers movie because I want to because I'm going to watch it. And look at that! <laughs> Congrats, you look better than I expected. Thanks. Still not good enough to defeat me, though. I don't even know why we're going through the charade of this match. Because I want your championship. And I want to listen to nothing but metal in the locker room. But sometimes we end up with EDM. Point is, even I don't always get what I want. With that being said, I'm more than happy to defeat you in the ring if you don't mind the embarrassment. <laughs> Remember, uh, the alignment, light side, dark side. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, and like, bring it on. I mean, Karai is ready. <laughs> but look, however, this, this something happened. Like, what? A team up. An actual team up of Rhea Ripley. Why? And look at this. Is a, uh, this is what he said. Just wanted you to let you know that you and Rhea will be stepping into the ring together next week. And Karai said, "Excellent. I didn't know how I was going to wait until NXT Takeover. As shot at Rhea's championship can't come soon enough." And William Regal said, "Perhaps I was unclear. You and Rhea will be getting into the ring as partners. The two of you will be facing Io Shirai and Dakota Kai." And Karai says, I thought I earned the title shot. Isn't this the end of the road to Rhea? Why are we teaming up? And, and, and William Regal says, because I'm the general manager. And if I feel like a tag team match is the best for NXT, then a tag team match is what we'll have. When I feel like I'm ready to watch you and Rhea battle for the title, then that is what we'll have. The road to Rhea ends at NXT TakeOver. Until then, be a dear and do as you are told. Fine, but only if it, be, it will help me to stay sharp and get me a chance to scout Rhea up close. And William Regal says yes, and because I demanded it. Yeah, I mean, it's not easy being general manager, but uh, I think it kind of fills in the shoes to that with Asami Yamamoto, who was the anonymous manager. And just remember, uh, Toa is gone forever. Same thing goes for Mira as well. They are ready for battle. The following contest. An unpeculiar team, team up with the NXT Women's Champion. I mean, I'm not saying the she's kind of uncomfortable. All she's saying is this is kind of strange to team up with a, a champion. Uh, to team up with an NXT an Women's Champion is kind of strange. Field, but but okay, then. WWE but still, I mean, she wants to go with that friendship is magic thing, even though it's going to be really tough for her to ride from place. here on out. Yeah. 
Seen it. by pinfall or submission so yeah these teams is jockeying for position at the very top okay remember uh the match objective so pinfall or submission that's how you need to complete the match of course once again check in the match rules there is no eliminations there is a count out there is a dq so be really careful do not get disqualified Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We four, could be here all day. A stalling vertical suplex. Yes, she is that good. Kicks to the lower back, clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here relentlessly. Even though Karai looks pretty beautiful and cute and, um, <laughs> uh, you know, she is a fighter and a warrior. Besides being beautiful, smart, humorous, kind, and funny, but also really smart. She's in about as good a position as you can hope it, to be. Especially when it comes to ring IQ awareness. Oof. Dakota is struggling to defend herself. Kyle might be feeling a bit rattled. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, like that will work. Uh, that, that's funny. She catches Kai with a big counter. Into the double stop combo. She's able to make it. Tag made. She's in. All right. Here comes Rhea Ripley. Like I said, anyway, she needs to. Whoa. With a course correction. This is going to get ugly. Wow, air raid crash was similar to that of white noise. Breaking the form all across the face. Up and There is that thunderous power bomb. There's the leg snap, and there is. Again with the leg snap, and there you have it. Thinking pays off. Oh, and she turns it around. There is that. There is that Northern Light suplex. Yes, tag. Wow. Tagged in. Oh, she has the say inside part of her. I don't think this does not actually stop her for Karai. I mean, the well, road to Rhea is a long journey, but, it, but when will it come to its end? There's that foot gate 18. says get off sling shot spear and here comes the phoenix splash brutal stomp to the body and just getting started look at this brutality this is how you torture your opponent it is just oh unbelievable wow it just Hey, can you imagine? I mean, teaming up with a, a, a champion before going to NXT TakeOver. Here we go. 
Kinshasa. Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Ty's having trouble getting her bearings. And the hits to the core keep coming. And here comes a 360 degree toss up. And also known as the X-Plex. Wow. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you think you gotta do better. You gotta do better than I could if you wanna keep up with me. Two. Three. A little too slow. Elbows, knees, all of them lethal. She now has gotten herself into a distressing spot. Yeah, she just continues like, yeah, to... Yeah, you really need to do better than this. Just one step ahead. Diamond Cutter! Not like it kind of odds here. And set right into the corner. And here comes the double team. Ooh. There's the butterfly lock, butterfly oh, suplex. Looks like she's struggling for air. Continued Oof. shots to the core will do that to you. Uh oh, going for oh, that haluva kick. Oh, oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. She's tagged in. Deconstructing the knee there. This could be it. And she breaks the count. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Look out. Drew kick from behind. There's a snap there. Oh. She's losing some steam now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help. And the breaking Am free. I mean, she is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Shirai capitalizes on the misstep. Says no. There's your snap suplex there. Oh, these are just gnarly cross faces. The clubbing of the forearms, and it's just face. really vicious. And she knew Ripley's game plan. Oh, stomping away. And she says no. Wow. And there's a takedown. Almost Rhea doing that fast press. Impressive sequence by Ripley. Ooh, Ooh that really hurts. Ooh, leg snap. The other end, too. Ripley has things right. Looking where she for the rip tide. Opportunity now for Rhea to capture some momentum. Oh, that was close. To get this fully in her favor. Yeah. Right to the face. Yeah. Oh, my. Unbelievable, like did you never ever see that coming when it comes to this woman and plus with the judo throw. 
if this match continues. And there is your diamond cutter. That might just do it. I mean, just for good sport. I Tag mean, she wants. I think Rhea Ripley wants to finish this one. And taps out on that colossal clutch, and it's over. Quite the win here tonight for these two future opponents. Hold on, Io Shirai and Dakota are running back in. And it seems that this was not going to be the end for these two. Wow. The NXT champion and her partner are in rough shape. That was unexpected. Again for Karai and Rhea Ripley. Well, you guessed it, uh, unexpected as well. Like, whatever goes around, like, they don't take defeat too kindly as literally for that matter. Ugh. Desperate tactics from desperate women. After our fatal four-way in this tag match, looks like I'm 2-0 and oh against both of you. So Dakota Kai says, what are you saying, Sailor Miku, that we owe you another beatdown because we're happy to provide one? Oh, um, look, Io Shirai, Io Shirai, like, ooh. I don't think Sailor Miku's not that scared. Or should I say Karai? You already messed up. Like, for that point. Not stupid. Tell you exactly what's coming, Sailor Miku. My foot to your face. Neither have, neither has what it takes to defeat me. It's been proven over and over. But if you need to learn that lesson once again, how about we do it next week? Triple threat. She said, are you stupid enough to let us gang up on you again? How about this to seal the deal? If one of you can beat me in a triple threat, you get my women's title shot spot. You want it? Come get it. So, she decided, like, she wants to roll, uh, she wants to raise, she wants to raise the stakes. In other words, if she, if anybody wins in a triple threat match, whether it's by pinfall or submission, where there are no countouts and no disqualifications, will earn that number one spot for good. Cute and sexy, yes, but dangerous. And when it comes to fighting, is it's a, a whole nother level. Match. Making her way to the ring from Japan, the super athlete, beautiful Kiyuni Pai Bay. This superstar has experienced a good amount of criticism online and in person. People question her decision to leave pro soccer and join WWE. There's still more to accomplish in her career, but for the most part, she's proved the critics wrong. A competitor who is always laser focused on the competition. I expect big things from her tonight. Always wanted to be something uh, new. I mean, revealing that to be a sailor scout, be a part Vocaloid and part Saiyan in her system. Mixed martial artist, and a playing a game of soccer is just absolutely incredible for Karai. And I don't think it's not going to stop her. Like I say, it's going to be a long, tough hill to climb. Is now faced with two serious roadblocks in our path to a title. Io Shirai and Dakota Kai. It's been a long march to the top. But after you notice that you, you can't win it. In a triple threat match rules, you have to pin either one of them. Nice math, Saxton. I was worried about you there for a second. Luckily, the only numbers that matter tonight are the referees one, two, three. Either that or the or the submission when it can't when you can't contest the pain too much. Or either that either that also passing out. 
when the pain becomes too severe or intense, thus not answering. Look, here comes the pro Derek when you try to backstab someone when they're taking that loss pretty well, huh? There's the penalty kick for soccer, and there's that double stomp. That move is, uh, that move is uh, from Alistair Black, if you want to know. Roundhouse uh, uh, disaster kick. Saw that one coming. Looking for the reckoning, which is similar to that of the, uh, the crossroads from Cody Rhodes, if you want to know. The 6.30 Centon misfire. That's a miss on a drop kick when you're missing by three inches. From behind, Frankensteiner. Nice. Hear the words, dirty pin. Put your foot on, feet on the ropes to add extra leverage. But I'm certain that the referee is going to break the count for seeing that dirty pin. Twisting up the leg. Of course, Sailor Miku does not want to cheat at all. There, there is a saying that cheaters will never win by thinking they can stay themselves under the top, which they're actually pretty stupid, to be honest. X-Plex! And here comes that inverted Texas Clover Lake. Submission. This is painful. Ah, oh, look at this. Is she gonna tap out? Think of all the pain radiating throughout her. Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising, no? Oh, Dakota is struggling to defend herself. Full court press being applied to Kai. Unbelievable. At least Sailor Miku was able to get, um, or should I, yeah, Sailor Miku, most likely Karai. Why not? Oh my God, look at this. The double team. Diamond Cutter, wow. Dakota can't come back from that. And looking for the inverted figure four leg lock, and here is where she's going to pull off. And taps out, and this match is over. She keeps her spot. These two are finally going to square off at NXT TakeOver. And, I and can't finally, settling the off against this feud between Dakota Kai and Io Shirai, who goes by the name of Io Sky. 
There are no guarantees from this point forward other than I think we're going to see one heck of a hard-hitting and brutal championship And that match. title's going to be mine. Hold on as long as you want because I'm going to be the one who will pave the way for those in the ultimate Arkhamverse. And I think Karai knows that this is her one and only shot because to inspire others and women and everyone else. King Regal says, well, William Regal, congratulations, Sailor Muku, Miku, smashing victory. Just want to give you a heads up. I've decided that you will no longer be facing Rhea Ripley at NXT TakeOver. Like, what? <laughs> at WrestleMania. Like, what? You're going to... WrestleMania for this. <laughs> Not sure I appreciate everyone toying with my emotions, but all that matters is that I have my shot at WrestleMania. I'm going to like how this ends. <laughs> wow. And, and everybody was shocked. I mean, the road to Rhea takes me to all to the hill, tough hill to climb. And that is the road to WrestleMania. Like at the RW is like, what? They're all absolutely shocked. Oh my. Even her coach, even her even her soccer coach or friend or what the coach, the, the sunny side vote ball says, Wrestle freaking mania. Gonna do my big game warm-up for you because I tune in and wear my lucky socks. I know you got this, but it couldn't hurt. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wow, everything like the road to WrestleMania. Karai believes that she is able to pull off a really huge upset victory, and this leads to WrestleMania. Everything is huge on WrestleMania. Karai knows she does not want to mess this up. She worked so hard to making it to the top the beginning to the beginning to climb of Mount Rushmore presents all the sacrifice dedication and everything she risked to put her previous athletic endeavors behind her and chase the glory of being a WWE superstar what a journey for her to experience the thrill of victory as an individual here at WrestleMania is a crowning achievement she wanted to be she wanted to be useful when it comes to such as WWE for Karai, not to mention paving the way for others that coming right next to her, such as like her friends and allies, even those who want to get to know her. Now the nightmare is real. Rash, bold, and unashamed. Brutality has arrived. Once again, I have to put in safe mode because of this. It's just not fair when it comes to this without music because it's so stupid. Oh, oh someone will Nightmare get it. Oh, what? WrestleMania. Feels like yesterday that Rhea Ripley made her WrestleMania debut becoming the first superstar to defend their NXT championship at the Showcase of Immortals. That night, she did so against Charlotte Flair. Well, how about WrestleMania 37 when Ripley called her shot, challenged Asuka, and defeated the Empress for the Raw Women's title? I'm sure there are many more WrestleMania moments in store for the career of Rhea Ripley.
This is her one and big time shot when it comes to Karai. I mean, for the end, this is the Tate. This is her first step towards a title match, and it begins with NXT Gold. Introducing the challenger from Japan, the super athlete, beautiful Kiyuni Pie Bay. And introducing the champion from Adelaide, Australia, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Only way to win is to uh, by pinfall or submission. The Champions challenger advantage. The challenger does the not. The only way for the, the challenger to win is by right pinfall or opposition. submission inside the ring only. Her first title shot besides the PC title performance. NXT Gold. In WrestleMania, yes. I mean, the RWO, like, first she went from jumping to Raw in 24 hours or less, and now she's making it to the big leagues, and that is WrestleMania. How incredible this is for Karai. It's just absolutely insane. Wow, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, breaking the jaw, stomping down, stops Ripley's attack. Ooh, does not... Locking up the legs. Oh, it's like you almost so had me, but that back. was really good. Oh man! With Karai having that tomboyish feel, character with the attitude, with the ruthless aggression on her Saiyan side, and the magical girl, the Sailor Scout is like. Chin lock. And now like with the punches. power of love and also with the friendship is magic thing especially yeah, from her part of a vocaloid change. side as well is that as she makes friends so quick Ripley avoids the attack sling blade Ripley is getting beaten down here Things she can here make it Rhea. the best of all worlds to, through everything. X Plex! And uh, there's the misfire from that 630 Sentai. And she dodged that one nicely. Raging Demon. Yeah, look, look, she timed it well. The patience in the key that making that her opponent comes to this her, putting on that opponent. raging demon, also known as a Samoan Blitz, which is like multiple slaps. Oh God, this is hard to watch. And it's just, it, it's absolutely like, it's similar to that, like, um, the legs of a mixed martial arts through. background look to that. Execute this twisting Samoan drop. There's oh, that Piper's pit. To the arm. Remember, oh, no stars added because this is a storyline of my rise. You want to have the stars of how many? Uh, try like the ones that's uh, not in the storyline. Uh, universal mode. Uh, uh, and it's not part of the storyline. It can that it be like stars to earn credit points if you want to know. So uh, be happy that be happy that I'm telling you this. Kicks to the lower back, clutching the wrist. Oh, not so much for this matter. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here relentlessly. Oh yeah, she is really getting fired up. Turnbuckle is the only thing keeping her upright. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Oh, oh my. 
says no. to draw the fans crowd and it definitely feels like she's like this energized there's your pump, pump handle, handle and here comes the rolling death valley driver death or the rolling death valley bomb Doesn't and even realize what's coming for the diamond cutter. But no! She returns the favor there. Says no! Here comes the X Plex. right what started many weeks ago and got derailed at nxt takeover is finally finished here and new revolution <laughs> it's always emotional but there's just something special about doing it on the grandest stage of them all wrestlemania winning this the road to Rhea winning a very first title besides the PC Performance Center now. title, NXT Gold. Who looks poised to go on a long and dominant run. I agree, Corey. Whether you approve or disapprove of how she got here, our new NXT Women's Champion has etched her name in history and proven she belongs among the very best. Absolutely incredible. And this is what make and this is how she started to become uh, starting from going to superstar the beginning and the makings of a legend the sami was absolutely thrilled to see what how did that she became nxt women's champion it just blows her mind Yes, and finally got the rewards. Yes, that's incredible. Women's champion, Sunnyside Football said, Women's champion, well deserved. I'm so proud of you. The crowning of a brand new WWE NXT Women's Champion. On the grandest stadium of them all. Feels good. Feels right. Welcome to a new era. The era of Sailor Miku. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. It just feels really good when it comes to when it comes to win winning it all. But but at is so much. So look at that. Overall at 94. All right. So there will, um, like I said, I mean, everything's just hunky dory for, for Sailor Miku who goes by the name of Karai is just absolutely impressive. But I think we are going to stop here for the time being. And don't worry, we are going to continue to pick up from where he left off. And on the next episode is how will she defend her title or what will she do or what not or this or that, which it comes to that or from here on out. So, yeah. So, as your main owner and founder of this entire channel, who likes to take chances, making mistakes, and getting messy, who likes peanut butter and chocolate and or breakfast for dinner. And this is a part of Paper Mario Z Rebirth, and this is the ultimate Arkhamverse right here in Leo's Let's Plays Alliance. Godspeed, play safe, and shalom. 
Remember to fight with honor, love, truth, and justice, and I'll see you guys next time for another episode, which will be the one who tr she tries to defend her title of WWE 2K22 of the My Rise Story. And this is Karai's story. Friendship is magic for everyone. Take care now. Bye-bye then.